hello libra welcome back i hope you guys are doing well this is going to be for libra sun moon rising venus and north no please remember to flip and switch the roles guys i could be talking about someone else in your energy also remember to just take what resonates and leave does not fit for your situation okay libra again let's see what's going on with you guys libra sun moon rising venus north no i'm gonna use the intuit angel oracle okay let's see what is going on with y'all Huh. 126 on the clock. Uh -huh. I keep seeing those numbers. <laughs> uh, those numbers are funny. So let's see. For Libra. Let's see what's going on with y'all. Let's see what angels are guiding you at this time. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have number 23. It says, Sir Braille, Angel of Impossible Miracles, Swift, Astonishing Surprises, Miracle Cure, Spark of Wonder, Rapid Healing, and Vitality. Call on me when you need an impossible miracle, and I will set a series of events into motion to bring it about. Okay, so you might need the Crystal Bloodstone. Um, uh, many timelines here. And then we have Surprises. So something could have happened. Uh, something could be involving your Akashic Records. Okay, things that have happened in your past life something about your past life could be significant here okay but it's been going on many times many times all right so this wanted to come out we have number 41 Nathale, angel of eternal youth feeling whole healing sun and star energy reversal of de degenerative disease and pain free okay something about cures and being pain free and hmm I don't know, Libra. Some of you guys could have something right now that's being cured, okay? Or this is somebody else. But it says, I send healing starfire to burn away feelings of separation from source, which is the root cause of all disease. Wow. So you might need the crystal garnet. Something could be happening in December. And it says things are improving. I got that for Gemini. Some of you guys could be purging... Mm, purging something i feel like oh what i got for gemini is somebody was doing a lot of spell work on someone for a very long time so there could be something you were binded to for a long time somebody put something on you or was feeding you something they could have been poisoning you giving you something with spell work on it or something like that now you're purging it or this is somebody else that's doing this okay and okay Let's see what's going on here. I'm getting that because somebody could have tried to hurt you or or kill you even for some of y'all. All right. And I feel like you're healing from it. For some of you have a family member that is um hurt right now. They're going to be cured. Could be cancer. Could be anything. Okay. What a blessing. But I, I just see, you know, some of y'all have really been disconnected from source or this is somebody else. Right. And... I don't know. We're going to see what kind of bullshit happened here. Give me three cards for Libra Spirit. What's going on for Libra? Three cards for, like, for Libra. What's going on for Libra? Yeah, somebody has been disconnected for a long time. And now they're finally getting ready to be reconnected with Source. Somebody has just been... Their intuition has been blocked or something. Oh, my eye itch. Bottom of the deck is Dogma. Okay. What else? Give me two more important cards here for Libra. What else do I need to know? Teamwork. Okay. Okay. Commitment and say no. Mm. <laughs> Consummation. Queen of Pentacles. Clarity. Angels. Divine counterpart. Resistance. King of Water. Okay. Let's see. I feel like there's a timeline of events that are happening here. It's like something is happening in divine order right now for you guys, Libra. Um, and there's a commitment that you're needing to let go of or say no to. It's like somebody could be offering you commitment, but it's not the right one. Okay, it's not a, it's not the right commitment here. Okay, so let, let's just see what's going on. I'm going to read these as I go along. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. All right. For 
dogma spirit let's see so for dogma it says this is an omen that you or someone around you is going through an, an, an incredible transformation regarding core beliefs. This could be through religious, political, racial, societal, sexual, or social beliefs. New awareness is coming. New examples are coming to help lift and expand, expand points of view. Okay. So something could just be out of alignment with you, Libra. It's like uh, you, you're not aligning with somebody else's core beliefs or their values or whatever. Maybe you have a different belief system than somebody else. That could be why something is not working. Okay. Or, or something like that. Something is just out of alignment with somebody. Okay. With somebody that you're with. Let's see. For dogma spirit. For Libra. What's dogma? So, yeah. Or this could be your person. Yeah. Two of swords. So, this is choosing between two paths. Having a hard time doing so because you're not really clear, okay? There's something that's just mysterious about the energy surrounding you right now, but I'm getting a stalemate. So something is at a stalemate because uh, you feel maybe overwhelmed or just ang uh, you're feeling anxious here. All right, I'm just getting this stalemate is for a reason, though. It's like something is because you need to sit with yourself and figure something out. Some of you guys are either in denial about something or trying to just shut something off. You don't want to deal with it. But deep down, you know that something is just not right. Okay, what's what's dogma with the two of swords? Or this is you choosing, trying to choose between two paths. And it's a very hard decision. Okay, what else for dogma with the two of swords? Okay, yeah. Queen of Swords, somebody could be on the Libra Scorpio cusp, or you could have uh, you could be dealing with the Libra or Scorpio, had that in your chart somewhere, right? A lot, but yeah, Scorpio here, somebody got a Scorpio Mars. So I'm getting, yeah, with the Queen of Swords, you're discerning something here, you're really trying to figure something out, you're trying to get your questions answered if you have any. I feel like you see something clear though, okay? There could be there could need to be some clear and honest communication, you guys could be cutting something off, okay? That could be making you really, really sad. All right, with the five of cups, it's like you're grieving it, you're mourning it, or something like that. Okay, some of y'all are even going through a divorce right now. Yeah, there's something, there's a relationship that could be coming in from somewhere else, because there's a commitment you're supposed to say no to, because something else is coming. And I feel like whatever this is that's coming is going to align with your beliefs. It's going to align with you. Okay, um very very interesting so that's very cut to the chase here i feel like as the queen of swords you could know what's going on here what's the two of swords or this is somebody else what's the two of swords okay ten of pentacles in reverse yes yeah, something is not um going to be built here okay something is not meant to last for a long time maybe where you thought it was it's not Okay, um, yeah, you're having to choose between two paths. Something is not where, where the money resides either. Something is not a part of your legacy. It's not a part of your lineage. Okay, it's not, it's not, whatever this is, you're on a very specific journey and whatever this is in reverse, it's not where you're supposed to be. Okay, so there could be fights and shit about stability, money. This guy has something to do with your family. Okay, you're, you're trying to choose there's a decision that you're having to make because something could be halting your your finances it's like something is like taking time away from your work you building something okay it could be family definitely somebody could be going through a divorce or some type of breakup here but yeah there could be a loss of money okay or an empire that's falling apart yeah and i just i just feel like you know this is not your path i feel like just like i told who did i tell this to um was it Virgo? I don't know. But I, I said something to somebody about being in the way of somebody else's karma. Some of y'all, this is not your path because somebody has karma to pay and it's not your job to help them through it either. I feel like y'all came in each other's lives and that's just what it is. You know, somebody has to like deal with something. Okay. Somebody too could have, somebody in someone's family could be a thief or somebody could be a scam artist. Somebody's a, a thief. They steal. Okay, and maybe you're not clear about it or you're not seeing this about somebody until now, maybe. Okay, something like that. Um, what's this Ten of Pentacles in reverse? 
or somebody's family is not supportive of somebody you're dating right now they're jealous they're i don't know i'm just getting okay the star and the three of cups could be dealing with an aquarius <clears throat> somebody here just made a hard decision about their family or somebody just went through a divorce or a breakup or they, they've moved away from something that's not meant for them okay that somebody could be seen in the public eye being highly celebrated but they were on the wrong path something is just on the wrong path right because i feel like this ten of pentacles is supposed to be upright especially with the star and the three of cups but this ten of pentacles is in reverse because you thought that you could do something with somebody and, <clears throat> and you can it's not meant for them to be on this path with you just period that, that you know it's quite sad it is especially when you think that somebody is but they're not so the star i see healing i see a good omen coming through i see good luck okay i see good luck i see good fortune i see a good omen this is a good omen some of you guys could be reconciling with somebody or um you're healing from a relation a specific relationship somebody here could be very spiritual and the other person is not okay somebody they're just not in alignment with you i'm just i'm just gonna say it like that yeah the high priestess yeah somebody is spiritual i feel like very spiritual very creative very inspirational yeah and i feel like you have a lot of a lot to be celebrating but it's just some people you can't do that shit with okay it's it's you just can't so what's what's the um queen of swords a wish could be coming in for you too uh libra which is why whatever this is it's not working it's time to let it go you can't hold on to it because all you're going to do is just miss an opportunity and you're going to fuck yourself over you're it's going to be hard um you know um it's going to be hard for you to leave yes but something better is coming what's this queen of swords so I feel like you're setting boundaries or you're standing your ground or you have to. What's the Queen of Swords? Okay, yeah, Justice. Libra, there you are. Yeah, you could be dealing with another Libra or you just have Libra highly aspected somewhere or Libra somewhere important. Um, So I see Justice. I see Karmic Justice. I see balance coming in. I see that you've made the right decision. Definitely that, okay? Because there, there's something coming through, okay? Some of y'all could have a court, this a court, uh, a final verdict in court. Okay, about some money or something like that for some of you. But I'm seeing truth, clarity. I feel like you have the truth or you have the clarity, which is why you're being very stern in your decision making. Okay, what's the queen of swords with the justice? Some of y'all could be lawyers or judges or you work in the legal system. Yeah, king of wands. Okay. So you could be making a decision about a king of wands or a king of wands could be coming towards you or taking action or this is you and your masculine energy. You're taking action here. Who's this king of wands? Who's this king of wands? The, the damn four of wands and the ace of wands. Yeah. Okay. Oh, somebody. There's a lot of passion here with you and somebody's ass. I don't know. What's this? Hold on, y'all. Did they leave a message? Okay, it must not be important. Shit. So, anywho, the King of Wands with the Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's something coming in. Okay, there is something coming in. Some of y'all could be reuniting with someone. This person has a lot of sexual energy towards you. This person is really, really. I don't know, but I'm getting I'm getting sex. Okay, some good sex. <laughs> I'm getting. I don't know. Something that you're passionate about, though. This person is very passionate about you. Some of you guys could really be um growing in your career, whatever you're working on. This could be a new project here, a creative endeavor that you're really passionate about. I feel like you have a lot of supporters, a lot of family support. Okay, um, a beautiful home here. Some of you guys could be decorating your home, but I'm definitely getting achievements, okay, with the four of wands. Some of y'all could be moving or relocating, or this is this person coming towards your ass. They coming to your house, <laughs> whoever it is. I don't know, but this is your karmic justice, okay? This is something that's good that's coming through. It's a lot of passion here, so, you know, a lot of fertility, so just be mindful of that. You don't want to get pregnant, Libra, but I don't know. This king of wands, they ain't playing with you. They coming, whoever this is, okay? This person is coming. 
is manifesting. So what's this five of cups? This could be this person that regrets leaving you behind. What's the five of cups? Or this is somebody that you miss. Okay, seven of cups. Yeah, confusion, illusions. Some of you guys are fantasizing about someone. What's the five of cups with the seven of cups? Or you have a lot of options, but there's just this one option that you just cannot get over. You know? Yeah, page of cups. Yeah. Somebody could be going through a divorce or have gotten a divorce. Excuse me, a divorce. Give me y'all. So I'm getting a... Uh, yeah, somebody's being spiritually guided to you. Someone can dress really, really good. This person smell good as hell, and they could dress their ass off. Somebody could dress good as hell. Or they're just very clean cut. All right. Who's this page of cups? Who is this? Some of you guys could have kids with this person. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. There was an offer that's been coming in hella slow. This person has been hesitant to tell you how they feel or apologize to you about something, but I feel like... There's a happy surprise coming through. Somebody could be invi inviting you out on a date. This person, their intentions are to build something serious with you. I just feel like they're trying to figure out how to do it. There's a lot of fantasizing going on here. I'm telling you. You have some type of emotional connection to this person. Somebody misses you. But there, there's a message that's coming through. Okay, I just feel like... <laughs> okay... Knight of Pentacles talks about somebody finishing what they start. Somebody that's very loyal, very practical minded, very down to earth. Okay. Hmm. I feel like this person has a lot of options, just like you might have a lot of options, but you, this person here wants you. I feel like somebody does not give a fuck about these options, but I feel like this is more so somebody fantasizing about you. They're sad. Whoever this is, they're coming in for, for an opportunity with you, just period. And they're coming in slow. But I feel like it's because they know that they're walking on eggshells. This person could have did something. <laughs> but I feel like... Yeah, it's, it's somebody coming through with something. There's a lot of confusion, though. I feel like somebody is just like, they don't know where they stand with you or you don't know where you stand with somebody. So let's see. We have teamwork. Some of you guys could be doing something with your money. There's like a new job opportunity coming through. Uh, where you're an artist some of you guys are artists you're content creators or something like that you have plenty of options plenty of things to choose from but there's one something that you're that you like doing right so we have teamwork the time has come to consider partnering with others to complete a task project or bigger goal this is a time to be open to other people's ideas input or talents delegating tasks to others help carry a more fair workload assistance is coming from spirit help is on the way you don't have to do it alone okay so let's see what's this teamwork card for Libra. Okay, Knight of Wands. Okay, what's teamwork with the Knight of Wands? The Sun with the Nine of Wands. You know, Libra, I feel like you think that somebody is coming in this time and they're not going to be serious. <laughs> you think, yeah, you think that somebody's not going to be serious with you. They're telling you the truth. Okay, whoever this is that's trying to come towards you, they're very committed. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords right here, too. I feel like you have your guards up against this person because you don't know what the fuck. I feel like this person is fine as hell. This person that's coming in towards you, they are so fine. I feel like you know them already. This person is a secret admirer. They they want to be with you. They want to apologize or say something. But I feel like you're in this Queen of Swords because you're not playing with this person. But they're coming in very serious. King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and the damn The Lovers. This is a divine connection. Either you're meant to make money with this person or you're meant to fall in love with their ass. And I feel like you're falling in love and making money. This is your counterpart, which is the reason why whatever this is didn't work out because they're not it. Whoever this is, I mean, it just it is what the fuck it is, right? Could be dealing with the Gemini or somebody Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. I mean, well, yeah, or Tor I meant to say Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but... Somebody is coming in solid, but I feel like you have your guards up until this person shows you that you're so that they're solid. And I feel like that's right. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Just don't be, you know, don't don't be too much. Okay, Libra with the Queen of Swords or this is somebody else. Yeah, I feel like this person has cut someone off too. They cut someone off here. So there's somebody... 
that is it seems like somebody is breaking free from something they've been working hard to do this too this is an ongoing thing that's been going on with you and this person so i feel like you have your guards up because you think that this person is going to be in and out or something like that let's see you could be dealing with a strong leo what's the knight of wands yeah i feel like uh yeah because we have the king of wands down here what's the knight of wands okay yeah page of wands the high priestess yeah i feel like you're going to be very discerning because you, you need to know what the fuck this person got going on here right you're trying to make sure this person is not in and out i feel like with all this fire there's something very uh passionate about something that's coming in with uh, for you uh libra you know there's a lot of passion here i don't know if there's a lot of sexual chemistry between you and somebody that shit is off the chain <laughs> okay like i don't know how much work y'all gonna get done with all this damn fire energy but um there could be too much concern with sex okay so somebody needs to get out of that energy possibly but i feel like there's a there's a project or something that you could be working on that really fuels you i feel like only you and this person can do it though that's the thing okay it's taking hard work but i feel like that somebody needs your help with something okay or you need theirs there's like a coming together of some sort right um <clears throat> There's some good news that could be coming in. It could be about or something that you're working on or from this person in particular. This person could be younger than you. We have the King of Wands, Knight of Wands, and the Page of Wands. Somebody was playing around at first. They weren't serious. That's what this is. There's something that you and somebody are supposed to be doing, but this person was in this playing ass energy. They were playing around in and out. They weren't serious at first. All right, they weren't serious, but I feel like now something has changed because they're more stable or they take things more serious. I still feel like they find a tail and they got a lot of sexual energy. Somebody got, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they got finer shit. I don't know. They just been fine all their life. I don't know. Somebody is fine as fuck. But there's an energy of like feeling fuel, feeling energetic. Somebody got stamina. <laughs> they got some stamina. I don't know who this is, Libra. But shit, good luck. <laughs> I'm manifesting this for myself. <laughs> Uh, but shit i mean i got libra in my chart so this could be for me <laughs> but okay so with the empress <laughs> with the page of pentacles and the nine of pentacles yeah some of y'all's money look fucking good this is taurus libra energy page of pentacles and the damn nine of pentacles somebody could be a very powerful reader okay some of y'all are really good um uh, tarot readers or you do something in divination you're meant to do that that's what your purpose is you're meant to, to follow that path okay there's something being built though and it's definitely going to put you in this nine of pentacles. Just period. Oh, child. But there, there's some good news coming in. Okay. There's like an adventure coming through. I don't know. what kind. There could be travel or something like that. A lot of travel with these wands. What's this nine of wands right here? Oh, Lord. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> King of Swords in reverse, Knight of Cups in reverse. You know what I got with this too? Something is blocked until this person says something. They're, they're, they're blocked until they can work with you. I'm also getting to, this is somebody separate. Somebody is separate from you. What, um, the Ten of Cups, this could be somebody you had children with or somebody in your family for some of you. This could be a father figure. I feel like somebody is jealous of you. This is why you can't work with somebody because whoever this is is jealous. They're envious. Whatever you're building, it ain't what they ask. And this is why they look like that. It could be another air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, or water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Somebody is like really judgmental. This is why you're not aligning with this person because they're judgmental. They lack morals, values, integrity. Okay, discipline. I feel like somebody is lack structure as well. They don't have any structure or routine. They're just rambling through life with nothing going on here. Somebody could be very deceptive as well. Somebody's a liar. Okay. Uh, King of Cups in reverse is like a one night. It could be a one night stand here that you have with somebody. Somebody was not in their true authentic self. Or, or they're not this is who somebody that you're dealing with right now they're not very, very true to themselves okay um knight of cups in reverse also talks about somebody's intuition is blocked so they're not of course they're not true to themselves because they're blocked and i feel like you don't got time for that i feel like you're not blocked and they are that's what the problem is or they were let's see
yeah somebody here that's deceptive as well what's what's this knight of cups uh, what's this who's this king of swords in reverse who's this king of swords in reverse spirit the lovers gemini energy who's this king of swords in reverse with the lovers somebody here could have lied to you i feel like i'm getting past energy yeah eight of pentacles four of swords eight of pentacles again page so i feel like um Somebody could have lied to you in the past about what they were doing. This person lied. They, I feel like they judged you or something like that. They judged you wrong, not knowing that y'all were meant to work together. This person, they were lying about a lot of shit. Could have been about another lover or working on something in another relationship. And they lied. They treated you like a one-night stand or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, until they asked, went in and did the work. The hermit. <laughs> Four swords. Somebody, somebody got humbled real fucking quick real quick um this person mm, somebody could be lying about how they feel towards you that's what it is i feel like they're lying about the fact that they feel such a strong bond with you some of y'all have been working on something with somebody that's been deceptive it's like you've been putting in work effort time but you learn something from a connection here. It's like you learn something from this person. There's somebody you learn something from. And you've mastered a new skill learning from this person. There's something that you've mastered or you unlock something here. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting an energy like that. Uh yeah, I feel like let me see. What's this eight of pentacles? Somebody <clears throat> What's the Eight of Pentacles? Yeah, Four of Swords with the Fool. I mean, Four of Cups with the Fool. Aquarius energy. Ten of Swords. Yeah, somebody has been trying to work on something where they feel discontent at. They they don't they're not happy. Like something is boring. Something is very repetitive with somebody. Somebody is boring as fuck. That's what this is giving me. Somebody wants more adventure, more fun in their life, more spontaneity more uh, assertiveness or and so I, I feel like because somebody is tired of something and it's just not for them anyway somebody's breaking free of it because somebody's bored somebody's rejecting an offer or something like that they're like uh-uh i don't want it <laughs> you know i really don't want it somebody is like very boring okay that's what this is i feel like you're breaking free from it because it's like something is more work than what it than what you i mean i feel like you've already mastered certain things so you're not you don't want to put in more work for something where you've already, you're already a master at it. You've already conquered a lot of shit or something like that. And I feel like whatever this is, whatever this relationship is, is taking work. For some of you, this could be about sex with the lovers, the eight of pentacles. I feel like you have to put a lot of work in it in the bedroom to deal with somebody because they're boring. Somebody is boring here. Oof, I don't know. I feel like somebody is used to bitches that they just have to, they can fuck and roll over and it'd be okay. Or they don't, they're not, they're, somebody's out of tune with themselves. That's why their emotional state, they're not, I don't know, but somebody's bored with something though. I feel like, uh, uh, uh what's the Knight of Cups in reverse? There's a lack of creativity. That's what this is. Yeah, Nine of Swords. I mean, Knight of Swords. Yeah, Three of Cups. I feel like somebody's more of a friend for you. Somebody could be more of a friend than a partner. Okay, this is a connection, though, that was divine. It's a test, though. Something is, is a test because it's, it's like, are you going to stay somewhere where you're not happy or are you going to move forward? <clears throat> you know, somebody could get very mad when they don't get their way either. Somebody lacks. They're, they're very they're not diplomatic. They don't know how to handle issues. They're very childish, whoever this is, okay? Like, I, I I just don't know. But I feel like somebody moves really quickly here through relationships or they, you know, it's something off about somebody's ass. I don't know, you know, Libra, but what's the sign? Okay, yeah, the Two of Cups. Yeah, somebody is realizing who they're in love with or who their partner is or who they love. Or where the fun is. Somebody wants a relationship that's fun, that's equal, right? That's emotional. But it brings about happiness, vibrancy. I feel like something is dull as fuck. I ain't even gonna lie. Whatever this is. Uh, 
something was just supposed to be a one night stand. It wasn't supposed to last for too long. <laughs> That's what I'm getting like, but it did. So now you have to kind of like, eh. I feel like something exciting is coming through though now. Something new, exciting is coming through. A, a relationship here where things are going to be equal and balanced. Okay, with the two of cups, my eye itching. So, okay. Child. What's, what's commitment with say no? What is commitment with say no? For some of you, there's somebody coming in that... Oh, my eye burning. Okay, four swords. And um, the two of wands. So a partnership is coming in. Let's see. Okay, five of wands. Yeah, the devil. Okay, some of y'all are cutting off somebody that you're just in argument. Like you're arguing with this person continuously. Or this is this other person that's trying to come towards you. What's this say no with commitment with the four of swords and the two of wands? Okay, we have the nine of pentacles here. Yeah, somebody's breaking up with somebody. Four, so after a long time of thinking about something, really, really contemplating something, really, really sitting there, it's been stressing somebody out, this commitment, whatever this is. So some of you guys are turning your back or this is somebody else. Two of wands, this is like making a choice to move forward, planning for your future, uh, turning your back on something, ready for new opportunities to come through or you're ready for a new opportunity. All right, but I feel like you're single, you're abundant, you're self-sufficient, you're independent. I feel like you're happy by yourself too, regardless. So, okay. <laughs> Some of y'all could just be working on your finances right now. Yeah. Six of Cups. There could be somebody from your past too that's evil as fuck. Six of Cups. For some of you, I'm getting, this is this person. Y'all, my eyes really fucking up. Like, what the fuck? What am I putting in it? It's itching, child. Okay, I just landed on the Twin Flame card, the Tower, and the Emperor. Okay, shit, y'all's twins. Come, there's a beginning happening with your twin for a lot of y'all, but well, for some of y'all, because not everybody has a twin. But we have the Six of Cups, Five of Swords, Ten of Swords, and the damn Magician. Somebody's very manipulative and childish, very much so a bully or trying to intimidate you. And I feel like you're still like this, Queen of Cups. I feel like you don't give a fuck. Something is ending to regardless. How no matter how much somebody tries to manipulate you or manipulate the energy or whatever the fuck they're doing, that shit you don't care. I, I feel like you don't care. So <clears throat> what's um the four of swords? Yeah, ten of cups. Yeah, and then we have the two of cups again. Six of cups. There could be somebody from your past you're in love with. Or that's in love with you. Yeah, King of Cups, the damn Ten of Wands, and the Four of Wands. Yeah, there's somebody from your past that's thinking about you. For some of you, it is your twin, right? Somebody can have a Sagittarius Saturn. Somebody could be a Scorpio Sun. I'm doing Scorpio after you guys. So, yeah, it's like it's like something that was not meant for you is leaving your life. And something that is, is coming in. Okay, and for some of you, it could be a past person that things got off track with this person because they were childish or very immature or they were not ready to put in the work. They just, I don't know, they still had a lot to learn about themselves. Okay, I feel like... Um, somebody here could have acted a certain way just to avoid getting rejected. This person was not authentic, okay? But, yeah... Some of y'all could be dreaming about a family dynamic, a family situation, or just wherever your happiness lies. You could just really, really be thinking about that. Contemplating something or something is your peace. Somewhere is very peaceful. So I feel like that's where, where you're choosing to go, right? What's the two of wands? What's the two of wands right here for a Libra? Yeah, three of wands. Yeah, the chariot. Somebody coming fast. So this is you. You're moving on from something very quickly. Okay, because you know that you're not supposed to be there. <laughs> Just period. Uh, somebody could be getting, going to jail or they just, they feel restricted. Okay, I feel like there's a third energy here that just feels restricted. Some of y'all could be um, traveling though. You're moving or some, some there's some uh, obstacle that you're overcoming. Okay, but you definitely turn your back for more. There's something more coming through. Okay, your ships are coming in. There is growth expansion that's happening with the Three of Wands. Some of y'all could definitely be moving, okay? Somebody could be, 
You could be in a long distance relationship with someone. They could be coming to see you. All right, but I'm just getting balance. Something coming into balance or or flowing with something here, weighing options, trying to make a decision. Some of y'all gonna have to make a decision when whatever this is pops up. Cause I feel like something is gonna pop up. Something suddenly is gonna happen because they're coming. Or two of wands, three of wands, something is suddenly gonna happen. Or this is you suddenly turning your back on something because you're not you weren't happy somewhere i feel like you know your happiness lies somewhere else okay and you know not everything that comes in your life is for you mm -hmm. some shit just is just just life what's the nine of pentacles so things are coming back into balance after you said no to something or turn something down okay somebody can have an aquarius mercury yeah you're being guided with the six of swords that's travel that's for movement and it's definitely divine guidance yeah, that's divine. That's source guiding you somewhere. So, or somebody could be coming to see you. But I'm definitely getting peace, harmony. Things are falling back in line. Because I feel like, oh, for a minute you got off track. I don't know. But, yeah, the lovers again, the tower. Something is getting ready to happen about a relationship. For some of you, it's uh, your twin. There is uh, communication coming through yeah this, so if, if some of y'all are manifesting this person you're thinking about this person or they're thinking about you heavy there's a lot of fantasizing going on bro i don't know yeah the world there's a new beginning happening yeah the tower again yeah the emperor something is going to happen it's going to shock you when you least expect it okay because i feel like you can feel it though you feel something coming but it's going to be a surprise it's not going to be you're, I feel like when you stop thinking about it is when it's going to happen. <laughs> I really do because, you know, you're being guided away from something for a reason. Spirit has something else in store. Okay. And um, so there's something you have to say no to before something could come in for you. Yeah, I feel like it's this damn connection with this twin of yours. What's, um, somebody's going to be mad about that shit too. I feel like somebody's going to be mad. They're jealous or they feel some type of way about it. It's like, okay, what's for you is going to be for you. But what's for me is, is going to be for me. Just period. And I feel like you're really connected to source. You listen to divine guidance, whether other people like it or not. Uh, it's, it's not what they like. It's about you and your life. It, you know, if something ain't working out, it's just not. What the fuck? 37, 37, like a timer. All right. So let's see. For Libra spirit. All right, so it says, if you believe, okay. So keep a positive mindset here. Keep faith in something. Yeah, perfect timing. You did something in perfect timing. Okay, it says reconsider. Not the right time in the near future. Forgiveness. Let's see. Let's see. What is if you believe right here for Libra? Oh, I just pinched the hell out of my leg with these nails. <laughs> what is if you believe for Libra? Yeah, something is coming in the near future. Okay, so there, there's, I feel like Spirit was trying to get you to do something quickly before something else came. That you, it's important, obviously, if Spirit is trying to guide you away from something else. Bottom of the deck is Capricorn energy roadblock. Yeah, block change, barriers, challenges, time to regroup, stuck, paralyzed, obstacles, stalling, temporary setback. Yeah, take a detour. Yeah. Not right now. One step forward, two steps back. So you're there's something here where there's a detour in, in something, okay? And I feel like uh, something was not supposed to happen right now. You weren't supposed to be with somebody right now or something like that. I don't know. There's something, you know, I feel like it wasn't right and it wasn't the right time to be in it. You know, I, I don't know. But I feel like it's time. I feel like you're regrouping. What else for if you believe? I feel like too. 
So it says a Leo energy, hot air balloon, balance, uplifting, freedom, going with the flow, rise above, don't resist. Yeah, don't resist change. Whatever's trying to leave, let it leave. Okay, because it's blocking something. I feel like there's there needs to be, you need to set yourself free. Yeah, ascension, feeling good, view, elevate, untouchable, defying gravity. Yeah, what's if you believe with the hot air balloon and the roadblock? A lot about traveling, the road, the air balloon is something... Oh, wow. Taurus energy, a name, Kara, unconditional love. Yes. Romance, soulmates, uncommon bond, appreciation, unchanging, infinite love, constant, devoted, always tenderness, uncommon bond, timeless. Yeah, there's something about a relationship that's forming where you have unconditional love for somebody. And maybe at one time you thought that things were over with this person. It's not. It's just getting started here, Libra. Okay. Something could be happening within a few weeks. I was poking out. And I see yes. I see chocolate. Somebody could have pretty chocolate skin. Your person could look different than you or they could be chocolate. Or Then it says satisfaction, chocolate, perfection, love, romance, treating yourself, sweet, rich, smooth, splurge, elevated moods. Something's going to lift your mood. Something that's, somebody's coming in to lift your mood. Somebody could be buying you chocolate. Okay, somebody knows you love chocolate. Oh, yeah, something spicy is coming in. It's going to lift your mood because I just feel like if things have been dull, they've been boring as fuck. You know, it's just like, no, 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 no. I feel like uh, for some of you, you could have been in a relationship where things were conditional. As soon as somebody don't get their way, they start spazzing out or they're doing the most. It's like that shit is conditional, bro. Don't nobody got time for that bullshit. So what's perfect timing? Everything is good when they're good or when you're giving to them. But as soon as you like, no, that shit is crazy. So I see cancer energy with constellation. It says network, support, associates, gathered meetings, socialized, organization, arrangement. Yeah, something is being arranged in the ethers and the stars. Okay, the stars are aligning for something here. Yeah, large amount or quantity. Yeah, fulfillment here. I feel like fulfillment is coming through. Okay. Hmm. So a Taurus energy again, symphony, harmony, synergy, co-create, assembly, organize, something about an organization or something is being organized in the ethers. It's happening within perfect timing. Okay, something is, you're coming into harmony or harmonizing with someone. Okay. Perform, display. Somebody could be displaying their feelings for you or showing you how they feel about you. It's going to happen in perfect timing. Then we have Aries energy sling, slingshot. Tension, strain, sudden anxiety, pressure, launch, stress, pull, set in motion, focus, begin, force, change, pull in opposite directions, ready, aim, fire. Yeah, somebody's coming towards you here. <laughs> they are coming towards your ass. Yeah, there's something that's going to happen just on time and it's going to happen in the right place, right time. And so spirit doesn't want you to miss out on it. They don't want you to miss out on it. So I guess, I don't know. I feel like, you know, something is very mysterious here. Hmm. Listen to your inner voice here, Libra. All right, listen to yourself. Make sure you can hear yourself, feel yourself, feel your emotions, but definitely pray about it, <laughs> okay? Yeah, but a union is forming, though. Consummation, this is an omen of, a, of formalizing a union. This could be a union with your higher self, a divine partner, yeah, a commitment or quest. It is time to sanctify your body, heart, mind, and soul. Yeah, so some of y'all had to say no to somebody. And it's fine. Yeah, so you can gain clarity. Your angels are trying to tell you something. Yeah, about your divine counterpart is here. It's here. Some of y'all have been avoiding this or resisting it because... Or you've been resisting saying no to somebody else, which is blocking this union. So really be mindful of what you're doing right now. All right, don't let nobody get in the way. Yeah, reconciliation. I just landed on that. <laughs> yeah, so... So, anywho, Libra, tell me how this resonates in the comments. Definitely leave me some comments below. 
Um, like, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.